What's going on Dividend Chasers? It's the Dividend Bloodhound here with another investing episode. In this episode, we're talking about my trading 212 portfolio May update. Something some of you may have been waiting for for a little while. It's been four weeks since I did my last update and I have some stock purchases to add to uh, the portfolio to tell you about and then report on the performance of the portfolio overall. If you enjoy this video, please hit that like button in the corner there and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here and get that notification bell liked and smashed so you can see and get notified of my future content. That is absolutely wonderful and I can't wait to see you in there. Catch you on the other side. What's going on again guys, thank you for joining me in the next part of this video and you join me in the Trading212 app. So I'm just quickly going to show you my purchases this month so far. So without further ado, first up we have I bought 0.27 shares of Allianz valued at £40.22. I bought a whole share of Bayer uh, valued at £53.79, one share of Daimler AG or also known as Mercedes for £27.71, 0.8 of a share in Continental valued at £54.74, one share of BMW valued at £47.38 and that was my deposit and then I had one free share come through in Till Ray, thank you very much for using my link. Whoever that was, I didn't actually catch who it was. What's going on again, guys? Just a quick note there uh, you may have seen my free share in Till Ray that arrived. If you want to start your journey in trading 212 and you want to kickstart that journey with a free share up to £100, please use the link below in the description. And for depositing one pound and signing up, you can get yourself a free share up to 100 pounds. And I've seen all sorts of people get all sorts of shares doing this way, including Coca-Cola and Starbucks. Anything that has the value up to 100 pounds could be yours. That being said, let's get back into the actual portfolio review. Catch you back in there. Hello again, guys. Welcome back to the portfolio review. So as you can see, we're actually in the portfolio section now. You can see that I have £776 portfolio value for a total of £894 invested. And I'm currently down £118.54p or 13.25%. Not unexpected. Oops, a daisy. Not unexpected in the current times that we are living in. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at what the portfolio actually looks like. So here we go. I have one share of Airbus at £50.59 pence at the moment, down £5.68 or 10%. I have 0.27 of a share in Allianz, £40.12 pence. It's currently down 10p or 0.25%. Um, what I will say about Allianz, is that I bought into it because it is significantly discounted right now based on where it was. But I am aware that dividends may be suspended in the future uh, based on bailouts and I'm not expecting any major, any major growth from this company for a little while, especially not back to where it was. So, but I do think there is some appreciation in this stock for me over the long term and being one of the biggest insurance suppliers in Europe I think this is a pretty good I won't say safe bet but it's a pretty good European company to have some money in uh, and as you can see down here it says its yield is 5.68 percent its finances are actually in pretty good shape I uh, I will do I will do a video reviewing these at a later uh, reviewing these properly at a later date uh, next up, we have uh, the actual stock looking for Airbus. Sorry, I'll go back quickly to do that. So Airbus is 
been hammered at the moment down from 138 euros at one stage to 57 because of the significant issues this company is facing it's hemorrhaging cash at um, a billion pounds a day or something ridiculous like that at the moment its dividend is gone for the time being and I won't expect to see a dividend from this company for quite a while they also have a few issues with a bribery charge that's also going on and they're paying the price for that however this these along with uh, Boeing, these two companies are the biggest plane makers in the world. Combined, they produce most of the world's planes. I don't think either company is going there any time soon. And a absolute um, safe bet that we'll all still want to fly in a few years' time. So as a long-term play, I'm definitely interested in adding to my Airbus position and my uh, Boeing position over time as well. Anyway, that is in a previous video, Airbus versus Boeing, which I'm sure you will have seen at some point. Anyway, back into it. So next up we have Altria Group, uh, 121 pounds, with have at 121 pounds at the moment, currently 21 pounds 57 down or 15.09% uh, these guys recently just paid out their dividend after reporting in uh, beating on EPS and on revenue, which is really good. Their yield is 8.56% at the moment at this uh, at this current price, which is $37.94. Uh, I will show you the dividend that I got from these guys later towards the end of the video. Next up, we have Babcock, valued at £7. 99 43p up or 5.69 percent not a bad return on these guys as you can see there a seven percent yield for now that has not been cut next up is three shares in bae systems valued at 15 pounds 11 currently 31 p down or two percent uh there's some reasonable appreciation in these guys over the longer term big defense company however it did recently announce that it was suspending its dividend so please ignore that 4.4 percent there that has long gone still quite a profitable company uh, nothing really to worry about long term i think they're just freeing up some cash for the uh, current crisis that we're in but dividends will return in the longer term i saw no reason to sell out of these guys even though it's only £15, I suppose. Next up is Bayer. I bought one share. Uh, the proper analysis will come in a later video. Currently valued at £52.80. I'm £1 down or £1.86. A huge pharmaceutical company, still very, very profitable. Been paying a dividend for quite a while, a growing one at that, and currently paying a 4.66% dividend. Net income there, as you can see, of £4 billion. I will do proper analysis in a later video. Next up is another new ad, which is BMW, uh, currently valued at £47.48 share. Uh, I'm up one penny or 0.02%. Fantastic. Uh, again, a very strong company, uh, very good revenue streams, still committed to its dividend at the moment. Uh, and making a significant amount of money. We will feel the effects of the health crisis in the future, I think, but no need to, this is a brilliant brand and I don't think these guys will be going anywhere sour anytime soon. Next up, we have the British Land Company, significantly devalued since I uh, bought in. I have 6.4 shares costing 20, or valued at 25 pound 50. Currently down £13.98 and 35.4%. Been meaning to average down this one, haven't quite got round to it yet. Uh, still got a hefty yield. I have paid, had the dividend off these guys uh, quite a while ago now, but they have have paid up. But at the moment, they're suffering some significant balance sheet issues due to uh, the health crisis and issues beforehand that affected uh, their net income as you can see uh, quite a risky play at the moment this one but the price seems to have bottomed out in the last uh, since the 30th of April they've dropped down again to 
399 and then we were even lower than that beforehand um, but not a too bad a company they also pay their dividends quarterly uh, as with like land and buildings there's going to be trouble ahead in the market because there are going to be people trying to sell properties left right and Chelsea but that could present a significant opportunity for British land to buy up uh, properties that are going on the cheap if they've got the money to do so next up is another new ad which is continental uh, not quite a full share 0.8 shares is what I could afford valued at 54 pounds 44 currently down 31p or 0.57 percent again this is an absolutely huge company it produces a hell of a lot more than just car tires and bike tires even though that's what you will probably um, know them for when I research them they do actually have a pretty healthy dividend yield they're down on terms of money at the moment because they had to devalue some of their technology that they had on their in their financials however their fundamentals are actually quite strong and this company has got patents left right and center when I did my research uh, the they don't obviously only just produce tires but they come up with a and patented I believe an idea which means you can charge your garage your car your electric car wirelessly by parking over a pad in your garage at home and then there was also an application for this technology to potentially be rolled out on the road or on one lane on like major roads on motorways like the inside lane on a motorway or on the A road which could potentially charge an electric car all the time obviously there's still a lot a long way to go with that technology but it has got significant potential I think and uh, since it bottomed out down here at 59 euros a, sh a share it's actually got quite a lot of appreciation potential in it I think uh, at the peak of 243 or 46 euros is a long way off and I'm, I don't think we'll get back to that anytime soon but there is at least 50 euros in this one for you I think when the uh, when this crisis abates because they've been hit hampered by that and the current balance sheet issues that they've got but i see a lot of potential in this com company in the long term and think it has been perhaps unfairly beaten up at the moment so hence the buy that i've got into it next up is daimler i already had one share in this company company mercedes but i boosted it to two valued at 55 pounds 36 two pound 20 up and four percent up this company again massive dividend which is a bit too high for uh, my liking at the moment so I would expect that to maybe come down a little bit but that I wouldn't be too fussed about for the sustainability of the company as you can see they've still got a pretty healthy net income at the moment of 2.38 billion uh, again better analysis will come in a later video um, however i don't see this this company is a stalwart of uh, the german car industry and the car industry in the world and they're very very heavily investing into um into electric cars now to make to go toe to toe with tesla uh next up we have dosh lufthansa i i don't know, even know what to say with this one um it's a bit it's an airline i bought it before the uh before the crisis hoping to make a quick book I had my opportunity to make a pound and instead I decided to keep it and now I'm sort of paying the price uh, but long term it will return I'm sure it will return to where it was I'm sure allowing me to make a little bit of money when I do sell out of it and it's just secured a 10 billion euro bailout off the German government to keep itself going so I don't think the dividend is long gone but I don't think it's going anywhere it's not going bust anytime soon. I'm eleven pound fifty nine down, or forty four point eight nine percent, which is not great. But at the same time, um, a lesson a lesson learned, and I, I'm going to keep hold of it for the time being as a lesson that's learned. Thank you for watching so far, guys. I know as my portfolio grows, this um, these reviews tend to get a bit big a bit bigger thank you for sticking around and watching we are over the halfway point i'm trying to 
give the reasons for purchasing a stock before actually conducting a full review. But obviously I don't want to go too in depth because it will make the video stupidly long and that's not what I'm about. I don't like videos that are over half an hour because that's just, um, that's just ridiculous and you can't expect people to stick around for that long. Um, so I will conduct a full review of my new purchases in a separate video. Uh, just purely to show you where I conducted my analysis and why I think these companies are good uh, for my portfolio. Not saying that you should buy them for yourself, of course, because I'm not a financial advisor. But I'd, yeah, I will demonstrate my actual analysis that led me to actually purchasing these stocks. Uh, thank you very much for continuing to watch and I'll see you back in there. Cheers. Thank you very much again for rejoining me, guys. Uh, right, next up we have uh, Hewlett Packard, three of these shares, and not bought by my own hand. All three of these are from free share referrals. As I've already said, there is a link in the bottom there if you want to grab your three share. Uh, I'd be absolutely ecstatic if you did use my link, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so essentially £22.73 that is free money, and £1 at 6p down on it, 4.46%. Is pay a healthy dividend of 4.77%. So I've um, I've kept these around basically purely based on that. They actually do pay a decent uh, yield. They're a good stock. I did no research into these guys at all because obviously I didn't have a choice. Uh, but since then I've kept the, I've uh, I have kept them on and they do make a fair bit of money. So I'm keeping these at least for the short to medium term. Next up we have Iron Mountain stalwart dividend payer heavily discounted right now from where it was at 34 before uh, before this crisis began currently at 23.61 my position of three shares is valued at 56 pound 63p 16 pound 39 down or 22.45 percent dividend yield 10.23% again, this is creeping up there into the alarm bells zone, uh, but they have been paying this dividend for a very long time. I'm not really in the position to sell without making a significant loss. So they did pay the last dividend, which I will show you shortly. So I'm happy that these will continue in the longer term for now. And they did make some money as you can see there. Uh, next up, we have the almost the joke that is Occidental Petroleum. My 3.15 shares were £38.41, down a whole £52.19 and 57.60%. Got collared a little bit with the dividend trap on this one. Um, this is in my early days of investing, shall we say. And, but at the same time, I'm keeping them as a lesson to myself as to why you don't chase a dividend yield. But at the same time, they still do pay a dividend. It's 2.65% based on the uh, position that I hold uh, and the price that it now is. But it's still something. Cause they did pay out and I did take in a small uh, dividend payment, which does mean... Uh, that loss is a little bit lower um, and they have been battered like every oil company is at the moment so they should survive they've cut their capex spending uh, but weaker companies seem to be uh, going kaput it does look like they're making a loss at the moment as you can clearly see um, I've got no choice really but to be patient on this one if it's 38 quid and they go completely bust, so be it. I've already lost 52, so I'm going to keep keep hold of it as a lesson learned and to see if one day it will pay itself through. And I'm happy if they did go bust that it's only £38 at the end of the day. Or £38 extra, should I say. Next up is Royal Caribbean. I took a little bit of a gamble on these, which you can see in my previous video when I analysed cruise stocks. However, so far it has paid off. My two shares are currently valued at £65.23. I'm up £12.39 or 23.46%. Uh, as you can see, the price has been steadily climbing uh, 
back from its ultimate low of $22 a share. It's slowly creeping back along, but it's still a significant way below where it used to be at $140 a share. Cruise lines have still got a long way to go before they can return to normal operation as well. So I would consider, I would remember that the loss making will continue. Next up, we have Siemens, which was purchased last month before last month's portfolio update. So we have it valued at £74.7p, 7 currently up £3.80 or 5.46%. Very strong company, still maintains its dividend at the moment, 4.6%, and made £5.17 billion net income over the last year. So very happy to keep hold of this company there is a lot of uh, appreciation in it as you can potentially see uh, it hasn't been at this price for a very long time although it nearly reached it back in september 19. Uh, so yeah happy to keep hold of this one and we are nearly there guys so i've got my free share in tilray uh, the pharmaceutical company Again, it was free, so I didn't really know a great deal about this one coming. Currently worth £5.79, £1.6 p down, or 15.47%, which has been walloped since the uh, day that I got it. But I can't sell it until Monday, so that's part of the terms and conditions of trading 212. It doesn't pay yield, so I'll definitely be selling it at some point. And last but not least is Virgin Galactic which is two shares at 28.63, valued at 28.63, down 12.16 pounds or 29.81%. Uh, yeah, no dividend to be had on this one. I bought this as a little bit of a speculation in the process that space travel will eventually get there one day soon. Uh, but obviously nobody at the moment during this crisis is thinking about exploring space. So I, I believe that is why this uh, share price has been beaten up. Once we're done and we're talking a couple of years down the line, I still think that this uh, company has got significant potential and I'll be adding to my position for sure. And that about wraps up the portfolio review. I'll just show you my allocations quickly so as you can see 776 18 investments Altria the biggest holding followed by Siemens Royal Caribbean Iron Mountain Daimler Continental Bayer Airbus BMW Allianz and then all the others fitting into the 20 percent hello again guys welcome back to the real world that's the portfolio review uh, complete so you can see exactly what I've bought for the month of May and uh, how it features and rolls into my portfolio as it is. I'll just quickly now take you through the dividend payments I received and the total dividends I've had from this account so far. Please bear in mind that this is uh, that there's a few growth stocks or potential growth stocks in here so this isn't my dividend paying account that is on uh, the free trade app which will be getting a review shortly as well so please tune in again for that that being said let's get back in there i'll quickly show you my dividends and then we can get you on your way to the next video catch you in there welcome back again guys so just quickly here are my dividends i really love the word just quickly apparently i'm aware that i've said it a couple of times in this video i am sorry about that uh, anyway Back to it, so dividends received for the month of April featuring in my May update. First up we have what was paid yesterday from Altria Group, uh, £2.28 value rise, 0.71 cents per share. On the 20th of April I received £1.69 from Occidental Petroleum at 0.67 cents per share and three shares held. On the 7th of April, I received a dividend of £1.28 from Iron Mountain, 0.53 cents per share, and three shares owned, £1.28 in total. Uh, and then there is Microsoft and British Land, as you can see there in the past, and a total dividend payout so far, 
since January of £5.60, which isn't half bad considering this is a speculative and growth account. Um, so yeah, it's time to head back to the real world. Catch you back out there. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. I know this one has been a bit of a long haul because it's a portfolio review and I've had to give a little bit of detail about each of my stocks as my portfolio grows. I really appreciate you watching the video all the way through there, that is really great. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, that will really help the channel out and the YouTube algorithm massively. If you're brand new and you've watched to the end, absolute epic, please top it off by smashing that subscribe button and even ticking the notification bell so you can get notified of my future content. That being said, please stay tuned for my free trade portfolio update in the coming days and the analysis of the stocks that I bought in this video, uh, also in a new video in the coming days. That being said, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.